Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 36 of my Bergpanzer and King Tiger diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. To start this episode, let's make the crane. We'll start with the poles. So, without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. I shouldn't have glued this bit just yet, as I need to get some PE on here. So, let's get this lovely PE done, shall we? Oh, hell yes. Squirrel! Well, I've gone from doing the crane poles to making a toolbox. And I've done some off-camera work. Okay, yes I know. I forgot to film it. I can't get anything past you lot, can I? Anyway, let's crack on with this box. And there we have a working stowage box for the Hetza. Now to carry on and finish the poles for the crane that we started earlier before I saw a nice shiny part that I wanted to build. So let's crack on with the poles shall we. Mm. 
there we go some more off camera work sorry guys now it's time to figure out how this lot goes together so let's crack on and get that done shall we There we go, that's the crane poles all in place and PE'd up. Guess what I'm doing next? Nah, just teasing you with a PE. I'm going to be doing some shackles. Shackle for an next lap, huh? Yes, I know, it's shackles. It's called a play on words. <sighs> some people, I just don't know. There we go, shackles done. Now we can play with some PE. That's the shackles for the crane all sorted and in place. The last lon, last lon, that's easy for me to say, the last one will go on later. Now to suss out the hoist mechanism. I'm using this fine wire, it's got multiple strands already. I found it, well I say I found it, I got it from an old knackered USB cable that I stripped back. So don't throw them away as they're a great source for wire and cables. That's what the block and tackle looks like with a chain on it. Not too shabby, I'm quite happy with that. Now for the cable that comes out from the spool that's inside the tank. Here goes. There we go, that's the easy part done. Now to wrap it round the spool with that cover on. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't. Uh... Oh well, let's get it done.
there we go that's hanging nicely and will look great with a dob of paint on it now to check the fitment of the exhaust make sure I haven't screwed that one up as well Look at that, aren't we good? With only a tiny bit of fettling, it really looks good. Angles are right and everything. So, I'm happy with that. Next, we have to put some towing eyes on the rear of the lower hull. So, let's get those done, shall we? That's those parts glued in place. Now for a part of the block and tackle. This is being used in the diorama, but it's in the box that sits on top of the Hetzer. So let's crack on and get that part done. There we go, that's that piece all assembled. We'll pop that over then to dry. Next to fill the gap in the exhaust with a bit of super glue, so here goes with that. There we go, there's that done. We'll just pop it over to dry and leave it set. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 36. If you want to see what happens in episode 37, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.